hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you for stopping by my name is yvonne please do not forget to click the subscribe button today i'm going to be making a wig for a client so what you basically need is a wig cap i love this type of wig cap because um, of the adjustable stripe at the back it's pretty much easy to work with it and that's why i mostly use this for all my wig making so you need a comb a needle a small and a big needle a thread a scissors and a pin of course to secure your cluster and of course your manicure please ignore my manicure head is pretty much rough because this manicure head i've been using it for years to make wig for my customers so please ignore that so guys what i'm basically doing is i want to pin down my kim cluster so i can start sewing down my wig when you're sewing a cluster wig you need a pin um the pin is going to help you to um session where you want your cluster to be or your bundles before you start sewing so that is the major reason why having a pin why sewing a cluster wig is very important so at the beginning you want to be very careful when sewing a kin cluster you want to be very extremely careful Make sure you're sewing it. I'm just taking the needle underneath the cap, then I'll pull it and tighten it. Then do same. Take the needle underneath the cap, then wrap the thread around the needle, then pull, then tighten my thread to make sure that the sewing is secured. So that's what I'm basically doing here. So just watch carefully how I do this step. It's pretty much easy. And you're good to go.
make sure at the end you're tightening your sewing so the wig will be very tight at the end Then now that is done, I start combing my closure. Here I'm trying to like fix my thread. I will start sewing my bundle down to the wee cap now. So that's basically what I'm doing here. You guys saw that I'm using the bigger needle for this because that point when you're sewing your clothes jaw, you need a very small needle that will help you to sew your clothes jaw wig properly. If you're if you're wigging with a clothes jaw, if you're wigging with a frontal, it's much more easier for you to use a very small um, needle, which I showed you guys earlier on. But here I'm just using the normal needle to sew my bundles down to my wig cap. That's basically what I'm doing. It's nothing different. It's just same step that I did before. That's what I'm doing again. So yeah. So guys, um, here I will just flip the bundle over and then continue sewing. Why is best for you to do this? Do not always cut your bundles while you're making a cluster wig. Is because when you cut your bundles, that's when you start experiencing shedding. Um, your hair will start shedding because of course it's hundred percent human virgin hair. And this, I'm I'm working with a bone straight. Um, hair today, so it's not good for you to um, cut your bundle while you're making a wig. So yeah, it's better you flip it over then continue sewing. You can cut it at the end when you're done. Then you can fix the remaining of the bundles anywhere you want to fix it. Maybe in the middle of the wig.
I'm trying to secure the end part of the wig. I want to sew it properly because of course it's the end part. You guys remember the thread I used in sewing the cluster. So I'm just going to tie both thread together to make sure the wig is properly secured. So that's basically what I'm doing. Then cut it off and we are done. So yeah. So guys, uh, we are done making our wig. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe, share, like, and yeah, I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye and stay blessed. Mwah.